Hi, my name is Justin Pike, the WBA champion of the world, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Right, thank you, Aaliyah, for sending this on to me. And for you guys, in the description box, as always. So, Anthony Joshua, via his official YouTube account, posted a very short video, two, three minutes worth, where he explained about the repercussions of Big Baby Jarrah Miller and him failing the PEDs, all that kind of thing. And he didn't go in on Miller at all. And, of course, he had to have a parting shot at the end of his video towards Big Baby Jarrah Miller's mum saying that uh, you know he still loves her and you know to let me know if you need anything all that kind of thing in other words a part in shot purely because of what miller said about aj's mum and of course what miller said about anthony joshua being on peds hence the video title of joshua's video what goes around comes around so yeah i mean joshua he didn't go in on him but i mean that's not really joshua's character anyway is it i mean joshua doesn't slate anybody really um, unless you really, really press his buttons and then he'll just react in the moment. But he has a team around him who are probably saying, chill out, calm down, relax, we're going to sort it out. But he also said that fully expect an update in the next 48 to 72 hours. Whether or not that means an opponent, don't know. Or just an update to say, yeah, we still haven't got one yet. Or we're very close to getting one now and whatever it may be. But... With the news that uh, Lou DiBella is pretty much saying that uh, Luis Ortiz isn't interested in the fight and what have you. Um, obviously, Wilder, he could be available. All he's got to do is cancel his fight with Brazil, but he ain't going to do that, is he? Of course not. Um, maybe Michael Hunter, he seems to be the front runner. But like I said a couple of days ago, and it's all over the news and that today, that they could well be talking to Andy Ruiz Jr., who's a very, very valuable opponent. Um, Andrew Ruiz Jr. has only got one loss on his record, which was to Joseph Parker when he went over to New Zealand to take on Joseph Parker and lost on points. Some say that uh, he defeated Parker and Parker got the home advantage from the judges. Maybe rightfully so, maybe not so. Um, but either way, Andrew Ruiz Jr. is a decent name over there. I know that Ruiz would love the Adam Kalnaki fight. Again, Adam Kalnaki has apparently ruled himself out of the AJ fight. So the pool is quite thin, that's for sure, as to the names available. Andrew Ruiz Jr., out of what's left, is probably the best option, to be fair. But there again, Michael Hunter, also a decent opponent. But anyway, I'm just going to lose out there for you all. I'll put a link to the Anthony Joshua one in the description box. Go give it a watch, of course. But make sure you subscribe here before you get over there. And then come back here and drop your comments as to what you believe that it is that Anthony Joshua was saying. What is it that uh, you make of Anthony Joshua's statement? Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next one. <laughs>